Let's draw ice cream. Welcome to another exciting episode of Go Go Mock Rocket Sheep. Today we're drawing ice cream cones. Easy mode is going to be a simple 2D cone from the side. Medium mode is going to be a 3D cone from our imagination built up using 3D shapes. And hard mode is going to be an ice cream cone drawn uh, and a hand drawn from a reference because drawing hands is difficult, so it's good to practice. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the drawings that you guys sent in last week. mode we're going to start with a circle and then at the bottom of the circle we're going to draw these little circles three or four kind of like this two three maybe one more there we go then of course you do a little rectangle in there and then another rectangle down here kind of tapered a little bit there we go and that is how you draw an easy ice cream cone. Well, the pencils anyway. After you do your easy pencil layer, you go in there with some ink and you trace the lines and then there you have it. Okay, then you gotta add some more details like ice cream cones usually come with a little piece of paper. It's just kind of like that. And then, and then they usually have that kind of cross texture, like so. Color that up. All right, there's your basic ice cream cone. Now, let's say you're like, wow, that was way too easy. I want to make a triple decker ice cream cone. It's super easy. You just make three overlapping circles, right? And then you add the circles at the bottom of each of your circles, then you add the cone, the rectangle, and the rectangle on the paper, and then you ink that up. Of course, you don't have to just stop at three, you could add like 10. You can make a super huge tall ice cream stack and that'd be a lot of fun. You can also add things like cherries or different sauces like chocolate drizzle or I don't know, just go to town. Make it look very good, your dream ice cream cone. Medium, medium mode. mode. In, in easy mode, we started with the ice cream and we built the cone underneath. For medium mode, we're going to start with the ice cream cone and we're going to build the ice cream on top, kind of in 3D. But you still start with a circle, kind of, a, an oval. So let's start with an oval. This is going to be the top ridge of our ice cream cone. And give it a little bump. And we connect the oval. Okay. And we draw a line down in the corner of the oval. And then we're going to draw a parallel line to this line right here, matching the curve, or at least as close to matching the curve as we can. A little bump on the top, and bring that in like that. This is the top of our cone, all right? Then we draw another little cylinder here. That's going to come down, taper in, and then a curved line at the bottom, right? And we're going to draw the same paper. Let's draw a line that again matches the curve here. Draw it down there. Draw it over and then draw a little split because this is where the glue is. You can make up your own logo and put it on there if you want. And then we're going to draw our patches but instead of straight across give it a little curve. Not bad. Okay so now we have our ice cream cone. Uh, now we do the ice cream. Now we could just do a big old kind of like what we did before where we put a, a, a circle of ice cream on top and then we build that scoop over the ridge and maybe give it some scoopy texture. 
right? We could do that. That's one way to do it. But I think we should try a swirly ice cream cone for this one. So if you want, you can just do the circle and follow the same steps as the easy one. But let's try to do a twirly one. So let's start with a little point up here to swirl around like that, okay? So the swirls comes like this, builds a little bump, comes back, this builds a little bump, back like this, builds a little bump. I'm trying to give it that 3D appearance, right? And underneath, fill that up. Okay, of course, once you have your pencils drawn, feel free to ink it and then erase the pencil marks, which leave you nice, clean lines. Now, normally, when I'm drawing an object from imagination that's 3D, I think it's really useful to do that step of drawing it in 2D first, just so that you kind of get a an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Sometimes drawing a more fluid three-dimensional shape like the soft serve is a little tricky. Uh, just with line art, you might have to use some other tricks to get it to look 3D. All right, there's the medium mode ice cream cone. You can see that I added a little bit of shading and highlights just ever so briefly to make that tube of soft serve look a little more uh, roundy. It's hard drawing a tube of soft serve off your imagination. Hard, hard mode. mode. For hard mode, we're drawing from a picture of me holding ice cream in my hand. It's hard drawing hands. Hands are difficult. So we're going to draw the hand and the ice cream cone as best as we can off of a reference. And here's the reference photo that we're going to be working from. And uh, I'll try my best. A cartoonist by the name of Brad Geiger says something along the lines of, it's hard to get worse at something that you're practicing every day. And I really agree with that. Even if you're going to draw something silly like an ice cream cone, you know, just draw as much as you can, as often as you can, and just try to get better every time you do it, and it'll pay off. All right, there's my hand holding ice cream cone. It looks okay. Kind of an impressionist hand. Uh, but anyway, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And if you would like, you can email me the pictures that you drew, and I'll put them in next week's video. Thanks so much. Bye.